Hello, this is Cindy. Welcome to my channel and today 26 of the Jelly Postcard Play Challenge. This was started by Carrie Griffiths way back at the beginning of the month and we are coming down to the wire here. So I have chosen houses for my last piece and you saw on day 25 that I had done one of these stencils um, and I cut two of them out at the same time. So I pulled them apart. I used half on the other one. I want to use the other half on this one. This was, uh, let me think what the, how this is. This is a piece of card layered with a piece of a coloring book layered with a piece of a gel print pull-off. So I've got three different layers on here and I'm going to add my decorative layer. But I don't, one of the things I am a little concerned about, I've got a little bit of this coming up. So let me put this down before we get too far. That edge is just trying to pop up on me. Um, I am not sure that I, I'm just checking my edges, making sure I'm, I'm okay. Um, when I put my door down, it gets, the background gets a little lost. So I want to change up the colors a little bit on that. And to that end, I have a couple of different pieces here. So I want to start with fossilized amber. Uh, yes, I want to start with fossilized amber. I'm just going to come in here and add a little different color to the background over my jelly print in a few different spots. This, like I said, this is fossilized amber. And then I'm going to add um, antique linen to it. Antique linen is another type of yellow, but it's a little bit browner yellow. So we're adding in layers of color. And what this is also doing that I didn't expect it to do, but it's really kind of cool. Um, it's picking up the colors of the gel print as well. I'm kind of doing some fun things with those. Okay. Where'd my top go? There it is. That's antique linen. I'm going to use a little dried marigold. This is Distress Oxide. The other two were inks. I had an archival ink and a Distress ink. I don't know really the difference. This is permanent. The Distress ink will re react to water, but I'm not using any water on this, so we're good. Okay, I'm using a little bit of the Distress Oxide Fossilized Amber just to kind of give it a little different look. I'm just going to do those there. Let me put my top on that before I do anything else. And check with my door. How are we doing with my door? Oh, that's looking good. Okay, now I need a little Mermaid Lagoon. Just a little Mermaid Lagoon. That's uh, antique linen. Let me put that over there. Now, the problem with Mermaid Lagoon is it can be bright. So I want to make sure I'm really kind of tapping off there a little bit. And then just bringing in a couple spots of it. Just to bring in some of that blue. Okay, I'm liking how that's looking as a background behind my door. Because I like all the geometric pieces. 
but I want my door to be just a little bit. Okay, let me just put in, I'm gonna put a little bit more of the blue. Don't stick to me, it's just that weather. It's the weather today, everything's very humid. Um, oops, don't take the whole thing off there, just that part. Put my little pad up underneath there. I think we're done with the blue. I think I want to throw just a little bit more antique linen in. Especially down here, because it that's very white. I don't want it to be white. I don't want any place where there's any white showing. Yeah, that's it. Because there's white on my door, and that's fine. Let me just stick these guys okay. over here. Uh, where'd my top go? There it is. All right, we need to definitely outline it. And I think today, let me go grab my markers. Okay, I am back, and I pulled out my color wheel, trying to decide what colors I should be doing with this. My color theory sucks, so if this is the wrong color, sorry. This is uh, Ultra Fine Point Sharpie, and I want to go around the outside of my door. I am not being... I could get out a ruler and do this, but I really don't want to be that um, specific with it. I do, however, want my line to show up. So everything is dry on here. Um, I have everything dried while I was looking for my marker. I actually had thought about doing this in red but I don't have any fine point reds. Well, I, I need to take that back. I don't have any ultra fine point reds. I have a lot of reds that's pulling up there. I'm gonna to have to re-glue that in a minute. Now, on yesterday's, I did a gold door thing here. I'm not going to do that today. We are not going to have a gold one. I don't know what we're going to have. Come on. Don't, don't be running out on me now. We're almost done and you're a brand new pen. There. All right, now what I do want to do, I don't know what that bird is that's out there. I think it's a blue jay. He's obnoxious. I'm pretty sure it's a blue jay. I don't know if you can hear him, but if you can, and if you know for sure that that's a blue jay, let me know, or if you know what it is. I think I'm going to take just a little bit of dried marigold, put it around the outside, not a lot, just enough to say I'm here, make it look a little rusty, a little old, it's an old door, what can we say? So I ended up doing more doors than I expected. I was going to do house, more houses, but I've done a bunch of doors. And that's okay, too. This is day 26, but we have one more thing we need to add that will definitely make this a better... We need a kitten. 
we definitely need a kitten. But we need to kind of, we're going to make him just a little bit of an orange kitten. He's, got, he's a white kitten with a little bit of orange on him. There. Just a little bit of orange on our white kitten. And I'm actually going to put him on there with a little bit of Fabri-Tac because it's a stronger piece. This is a cutout from Minté, a Minté collection. I had done a whole journal and there were all these beautiful cats in it. So I cut out a bunch of the cats and I haven't done much with the cats yet, yet. Keyword yet, I have an entire cat journal coming. Okay, where's my orange? And let's come around the kitten. Where he is sitting so pretty at the door, just waiting to get in. Let me in, please. I'm hungry. There. Our kitten's just waiting to get in. Still needs a little something up here. Oh, we've got to put our doorknob on. Hard to open the door if you don't have a doorknob. Yeah, it doesn't so much like necessarily going over some of the inks. But it does it. It does it. All right. Um, in case you haven't, in case you didn't know, one of the things that's happening with a lot of my cards is that I put them aside, I finish the video, I put them aside, and then I think, oh, that's what it needs up in the corner, that's what it needs here, that's what it needs there, and so the cards that are actually in my folder have a little bit of difference, perhaps, than what you saw in the videos. At the end of July and on the 31st, I will do a separate video going through all of them so you can see all the additions that I have made uh, as I've set them aside, looked at them later, and said, oh, that's what it needs. All right. In the meantime, I hope you're enjoying these videos. Please make sure you hit the subscribe button and click the like button to let YouTube know that you are, in fact, enjoying them. Till later, this is Cindy signing off.